Alrighty folks, this is Lurch from Ireland Gaming and welcome back to another episode of From the Depths. We're back in the campaign again and it's time to blow up more Onyx Watch. So, well, let's, let's get started. Um, I'm predicting that this is going to be a fairly combat heavy episode once again. I think this fact, this little fleet here is going to have to die straight away and do you think, do you think we can do it? Can we get all the way up here in one episode? Uh. It's a lot of fighting, but let's go for it. Right now, let, let's let's just start. These guys have got to die. Okay, everything's in. It's only a teeny tiny little fleet. Let's see what sort of a mess we can make of them. Oh, shooty back times. Oh, yes. Oh, you have to turn the AI back on on this thing, because, you know, for starting out, it likes to drive off on its own. We don't want that. So, let's go over here. Why is my camera so slow? Why? <laughs> Fleet's really starting to come along. <laughs> Looks great. <laughs> I do love those cannon effects, the big lensing. It might be a little bit big, but... Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> right, we're most mostly there, and everything's nearly frickin' dead already. Yay, confetti! Okay. Sploosh. Now the accuracy of the guns on the Argonaut do leave a little bit to be desired, I must say. But there's not a lot we can do about that right now. God, you know, I might actually pull the, the block size down, like the battle count down, because even now, this is only, what, 34,000 blocks or whatever. Whatever it was. Ooh, that looks pretty dramatic. Uh, it, it still kills my frame rate. It puts it down to like 20. It's not such a big deal. I mean, it should be still reasonably okay to watch. But, yeah. Um, it might actually speed the whole thing up a bit. Oh, yes. One thing that I should really have mentioned at the start, and just as, as I started recording this, we have taken over the 1,000 subscriber mark I am honestly a little bit in shock. <laughs> Still can't believe anyone watches my videos, let alone having a thousand people. I I can't even picture a thousand people in one place. It's it's absolutely crazy. Um, I I I can't thank you guys enough. It it's been an amazing journey. It's well, I started this channel about two months ago, um, and that was when my very very first sort of let's play episode went online. Uh, I had a couple of Space Engineers videos up before that, but, you know, I didn't get a lot of views on them. They were sort of very specifically targeted at Space Engineers audience, but eh, if you want to go and have a look at a really cool base that me and the rest of the Ireland guys did, go check out the very, very first video on the channel. Um, uh, we're st I'm still very proud of it, and the music on that episode is actually a song that I made um, called Vocal Chance, that, well, uh, me and a friend of mine put it together. Uh, so, yeah, um, go check it out if you feel like it that's that's where it all began you know so yeah this these guys are not long for this world although this is taking decidedly a lot longer than i expected it to oh missiles retargeting i do love those farmers missiles now with the lua they just kick ass and chew bubble gum and take, take names and all that that sort of stuff oh oh there's a big shell did a quite a bit of damage. I likes it. Am I in degraded mode? Not in degraded mode. Just seems to be a little bit less confetti than usual. Boom. 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 Are they... They must be pop rocks or something. Because... They're frags, and I think the Varmus shoots explosive warheads, so it's gotta be. Oh, there we go. Two damaged. That was only a 40-point fleet, so wasn't much to look at. I think we're going to go... Well, I'm going to cut here and move to the next battle, because, well, moving around on the campaign screen isn't exactly the most exciting footage in the world. So I'm going to cut here, and we will move on to the next battle. And I think... I should be able to get... Let's just have a look-see. 
like I said, not very exciting, but it does the job. I might be able to get like all three of these in one, and including this guy as well. But is that biting off more than we can chew? I don't know. <laughs> Let's find out. It'll be more fun that way. And I think I will, like I say, pull the block count down a little bit. So we'll probably have just the Argonaut out on its own there at the start. Pull it down to maybe 25k. Um, it should speed the battle up a wee bit, actually. Even though things are spawning in slower. But uh, yeah, let's move on to another battle, and I will be right back. Alrighty, battle is set up. I've dropped it down to 27,000, which is less than half of the entire force. And uh, we're quite off balance with them. They have a lot more blocks than we do, but I think we should be okay. I've set it up so the Argonaut's coming in first with... Uh, uh, Blothorn Varmus and uh, Fluorescent Ninja Rottweiler to keep things going in the back. Uh, we've got a couple of other things coming in shortly after. They're sort of roughly evenly spaced. Um, so, begin! And let's hop on to young Mr. Fancy Marine here and have a look see what's going on. Ooh, missiles. God, do I have the weapon selected? I do not, hurrah. Holding fire due to feel safe. Why? Oh, this is a problem. Why are you not turning all the way? Can you not turn all the way? Oh, we have a problem. Where are you getting stuck, dude? Fine, all the way around. Is it here? That looks like it should turn. I should really be doing this bit off camera. <laughs> Tough. Gonna have to deal with it. Um, that is clipping in there. Why is that clipping in? Is that part of the... Okay. Ah. I'll, I'll work that out later. And see why that's not turning properly. I think there's a problem with the front there where it's got something uh, stuck. Or there's, there's an extra beam or something there. Or maybe I've just put them in, in the wrong place again whenever whenever I was jiggling them about before. Let's go over here and see what we can see. Tell you what, I'm going to turn my bloody camera speed up because this is taking ages. So you to, let's go up to two. I never go up this high. Off we go. Oh, that's a whole bunch better. Well, for getting around these sort of fights anyway. What's over here? Never use this mode either. Just for popping in and out of view. Oh, that looks cool. Block Fetty, hurrah! That's that's an awful hole in your ship. You should probably patch that up. Oh, sorry, I appear to have made another one. Are we still over? We are cool. <laughs> Don't think your barrel's going to do much good up there, son. That is not going to last very long. Okay. Anyone else taking any damage? The Rottweiler's taken like one hit. And Fancy Marines in the same boat, so. Uh, boat, sorry. Uh, right. Now, this is another reason I don't really like doing the combat episodes. I, I don't know what to talk about. Shh. Someone who talks on YouTube all the time and doesn't know what to talk about. You would think you would never get me to shut up, but I, I, I can never think of a subject matter. And talking about the cannons blowing stuff up all the time is a little boring. Holy crap, are you... How is your AI dead? That was you, right? It was. You look like you haven't even been hit. You've lost... A hundred blocks. Not even, like 80 blocks. <laughs> Was that the Rottweiler that done that? It couldn't have been. It would have had to be something really teeny tiny. I don't have any AP shells coming in at the minute. Possibly one of the penetration shells from the Argonaut just went straight through and took the AI out. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. What sort of force we have in. We've only got these guys in so far. Change the spawn order. I didn't even know you could do that. I very rarely spawn, uh, like, play with less than maximum. Yeah, it was Pop Rocks, because they're still shooting. Remember I said in the last the last fight. Yo, look, they're dolphin diving. Boing. 
boing. <laughs> I remember when I was testing these, like designing these missiles at the very, very start. <sighs> I managed to get them uh, with APNs. Uh, I was sorting out the, the different um, ballast ratio or ballast settings and stuff like that, and trying to get them to swim the way I wanted them to and pop out of the water. And eventually, I, I had like propulsionless ones that just sort of wiggled their way to the enemy. They were absolutely worthless, but very funny. Hey crap, that's that's one of the torpedoes. Is it? It must be, because they're the only things that use amps, I think. And that is almost certainly a sonar on the end. Are you out of fuel? You seem to be out of fuel. Uh, whatever. Well, that fleet's dead anyway. Yeah, they were torpedoes. Wow, are they are they running out of fuel just now or something? I know not. You know, I should really check the overall. What's over there and dead? Um, I should really check the overall faction ratings. Can I do it from here? Oh, I can. Cool. Something to do while these guys are taking out the bodies. Oh, it's paused. Bugger. Uh, hatred at war at war. Right, you don't like me. I'm on the brink of war with the lightning hoods. Yeah, it's okay. I might have to just shoot them next anyway. Who are they friendly with? They're friend. Ah, they're friendly with the Onyx Watch. That's why they don't like me. Who are you, Scarlet Dawn? On the brink of war. They are allied to the end. Okay, well, let us. Um, <clears throat> we don't need all this crystal. Doop doop doop. Just to uh, encourage them, or discourage them a little bit from blowing the crap out of us, for now. Just so that we can have a bit more time to blow up the Onyx Watch. <laughs> uh, what's happening in the battle? Ooh, Bloater, you took a hit. Where, where are you, son? Ooh, ouch, that was a big pull. What is shooting at you? I do not approve of this. Ah! They are close. We do not approve. Go away. Oh. <laughs> now that is what I call fortuitous timing. Thank you, Mr. Argonaut. Blowing the crap out of this thing and making big holes in it. There's more coming in now. Oof. I'm not really 100% happy with the accuracy of those guns on the Argonaut. They're not hugely accurate, but my god, do they pack a punch. Oh, jeez Louise, what happened to you? Argonaut changed targets, see? <laughs> uh, I'm actually glad the widgets are spawning in later, because um, remember in the last episode, we had trouble with these guys. These, I think, have it. Yeah, there's the laser system. They shoot the crap out of our poor little widgets, and we don't like them dyings. They are our friends. Purr's Orbitalist has got an awful kicking in the last couple of episodes. I guess that's what she gets for saying I never get killed. Uh, Stick Tech has got a pretty bad doing as well, so <laughs> don't feel so bad. Uh, well, you are... Uh, well, you've seen better days, frankly. Oof, that was a big hit. got its own new sunroof. That is so cool. I should be in interior design or something, because, you know, making holes in roofs, that's something I can do. Well, on, on sides and ships and planes and uh, bases and resource areas and all that sort of stuff, yeah. Okay. There can't be much of these guys left. Jeez, you are not in a good way there. Is there still guys shooting at you? That is not the best. That is a rather large hole. Blowthorn, you've lost weight. Eh. <laughs> uh, deadification. I think that is all. Oh no. Ow! Ugh. Oh. Mother! That was just rude. Rude, I tell you. 
Alright, uh, let's let's come back. I don't, I'm not sure if it's really that safe to come back here, but uh, bunnies. So at least that's some of my stuff spotting yet. Come on, let me out of the stupid pod. Right, I'm out. Oh, right, can I? Force is suppressed, cannot be withdrawn. Let's draw this force. No! We'll fight to the bitter end. You are not retreating, Blothorn. You can do this! Go on, those smart bombs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, look at them! They're so cute! Oh! <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, I think I need to repair those. Um, they are not highly effective warheads, <laughs> but they are so cute. Uh, right, so you are screwed now. Oh, well, that's what you get for shooting at Blowthorn. Bastard. Take that. Supporting fire from the back line. Oh, we have a load of Rottweilers and stuff coming in now. Yeah, that's it, boys. Take them out. Get revenge. Alrighty. What is next on the list? There can't be... How do I see the enemy fleet? Well, there's one there, but how do I find out who all is potentially going to spawn in? Is it N? You? No. It is not N. Scrolly scroll. No, I don't see anyone else there. It's the stockade. There's another stockade has come in. I am nearly sure there was a way to find out how many enemies are left to spawn? Maybe I'm wrong. Oh. Both arms getting repairsies. There we go. You're back in action now, son. Hey, hey. No longer crappy missiles. That is good. Hey, ha. Yeah, you're not gonna like this. Here they come! Boom! They're actually aiming for. I have them set to aim for. I think the Lua typically goes for center of mass. Oh, hello. Well, that was the center of mass. Center of mass destruction! Sorry, that was a terrible joke. That could use some work. <laughs> oh, stubby cannon. <laughs> Oh, if ever there was something that was worse than turret pop, it is having your cannon barrels cut back to one. To teeny little nubbins that are completely useless. Oh, some serious firepower coming in now. Stop beeping at me, phone. Phones are rude as well. They have no manners, interrupting you all the time. Sorry, I'm probably being an ass, because they're almost certainly YouTube commenters, and <laughs> I do like having them. It's like, you know, whenever you're a kid, uh, and you're, you know, your parents get all the meal, but you don't get any, and then when this one letter arrives, you get to open your very own letter, you feel like such a big boy. It was class, but, you know, you grow up, and then most of your meal is spam. <laughs> And you learn not to appreciate meal anymore. Oh my word! That is a nasty, nasty hole. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how things pan out whenever we get to taking on the other factions, because you know, obviously the Onyx Watch—they're not not hugely powerful. They don't have any shields for a start. I have. Uh, uh, if anyone's seen the Gun Hog in the last uh, the last couple of videos I've posted, um, it can take out. Like the Steel Striders Molp and stuff like that, so it is a very, very powerful little ship. So I have a rough idea how. Oh, Farmus, you're at it again. Just want to fly. Um. <laughs> I did actually figure out why this is happening. Um, the reason is. Now I have my thrust set on ooh, chug. I have my thrust set on both sides, top and bottom of the center of mass, because it's not it's like evenly spaced, it's set between two blocks. So you can't line up something directly behind it. But what's happening is whenever it goes out of the water at all, like nose first or anything like that, 
only the bottom props are in in the water so they're below the center of mass and they're pushing the nose up hold on a second I think is that battle over or is can I pull off I can't right okay oh god they're really really close shit okay out you come pull all and let's just fight this is only a teeny fleet isn't it yeah 39 this is gonna be a very brief fight why did I click 10 times begin battle please I think that looks, what is that, a Telemachus? A parapet, and... Uh, a Telemachus, yay, I got one! Halbert! Time for you to die! And we have... Muchly little frames! But it's good, like... There's a widget flying over there at the distance. Oh, are they really out of fuel that far away? That sucks a bit. Oh well. They can carry on on their own inertia for a while. Oh, I must be on a ship. Yes, I am. That is why I'm wobbling. Oh, wow, this thing is so cool. What are you? I know I just read it, but... Oh, you... Bastard. I'm not going to get to see it before it gets blown up. Hit the right button. V. Halberd. Okay. I like this. It looks class. Oh, I like the lamb system on the top. <laughs> With the little nipples. <laughs> Can't remember who it was, but some of it be odd calling them nipples, and that's all I can see now. I cannot unsee! They are little laser nipples! Okay. That did not last very long, and these guys are definitely not going to put up much of a fight. Oh, wow, you've already got a new sunroof. Yeah. Building contractors from Ireland Industries. Uh, do installations. Mostly, we make big holes. Oop, chug, chug. Ah, oh, you're despawning, that's why. Take that, Mr. Halbeard. And you... Well... It's just not going to end well for you. See what happened to your friends over there? Yeah? Well, see all those other guys over there? This is like a, you know, friendly arm around the shoulder job. See them? They don't like you very much. They do not approve of your social circles. Your behaviour of late has left a lot to be desired, and you are no longer welcome. Okay, what happened? I went flying away somewhere else. You were ruining me. I was having a lot of fun there. Look, I missed most of oh, my word. It just evaporated from the inside out. That that's really unfair. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> okay, so let's uh well, I'm going to see, first of all, how much time I have left, and then I'm going to see if we can go and take on the Onyx Throne. But I think I might leave that for one big episode, because it is a bloody monstrosity. It has so many blocks, and the battle itself could take quite a while. So, I will be right back! Well, yowza, okay, we haven't got any more time for taking out the Onyx Throne today, but we have completed running the gauntlet. The path to the Onyx Throne is now clear, and I think next episode it will be time for their demise. The end of the Onyx Watch. And then we can start moving on to something else. I would really appreciate if some of you guys made suggestions as to what faction we should go for next. I would prefer to go for the ones that are kind of close, and I would I'd really like to get this f uh, fleet back on the go, so... Maybe lightning hoods or what are these guys? White flares? Yeah, white flares. Um, would be possible. So if you want to uh, like drop a comment below and let me know what you'd prefer to see next. So like I said, I, I would prefer white flares or um, lightning hoods. Them, the deep water guard, they're staying there. They're uh, going to be a relic fleet and as long as they don't spawn anything and I don't put anything in there, they shouldn't go anywhere, so they're going to be the very last one that we take out, I think. 
that would be kind of poignant maybe leave a little square from each faction but in the next episode I think we're going to be taking out the Onyx Throne and we're going to do a montage and there will be music and explosions and special effects and everyone will be happy except for them so for now I really hope you enjoyed the episode uh, any likes, uh, subs or comments are really, really appreciated. I love hearing from you guys and I read every single comment. I do my very, very best to reply to all of them. Once again, thank you so, 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 so much for your support over the last... Uh, it's been, what's it, two months since I opened this channel, like started it out. And uh, the support, feedback, everything's been absolutely amazing. I can't believe how well it's all been received. So I'll keep putting the work in as long as you guys keep watching. So... Thank you very much once again for watching, and as always, take her handy, and have a bloody good day.